Alright, what does the king have for us? What you got to say to me, bro? Ah, it's you, the boy from my dream. What a strange dream it was. My life's work was being destroyed, and all I could do was watch. Hate when that happens. Sit here by the fire. Okay, Mr. Hippopotamus. It all began right there, in the house I grew up in. My face is now this painting. Oh! I heard a heavy knocking at the door. Just like on the night I left. I opened the door, but there was nothing there. Just white space. It's me! I am young king, man. And I am very 2D. I can finally be my own 2D boyfriend. I love the voice we have now. It's so sketchy now. I really love these interesting, like, non-3D, like, non-realistic art styles in 3D. What's this? What's this? It's a king with a goose. Is that king's dad? Who is also a king, obviously. Yep, just white space outside. Uh oh. But when I got outside, disaster. Uh oh. Some miscreant had painted everything. My garden was ruined. <laughs> uh, it probably wasn't me. Definitely was some person other than me who did this. This doesn't look familiar to me at all. Then my statue <clears throat> spoke and said, Help me! Some little hooligan is running around splattering everything in the garden. I think he's headed for the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Something got in my mouth. Oh. Oh, dear. Rip. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Purdy. Whee! I just have to. I can't. I can't help myself. All right. We're gonna go get that hooligan. Credits appear. Must have credits. Oh yes, and subtitles. Ooh. I wish my dreams had subtitles. This is some high production quality dreams. Written directed by Ian Dallas. Max Eager? I'm not gonna read all of it. Oh, we're upside down, by the way. Up oh. then, I saw my beautiful city Rip. strangled by those disgusting vines. I built it to stand a hundred lifetimes, and instead, it will be buried in one a monument for weeds. Where are we going here? Up, oh, we go up, up, no, up. There we go. No, get up the thing. Kingy ding. There you go. The dining hall was full of people, like the old days. It smelled like roasted goose. For a moment, I was happy. Everybody loves roasted goose. I'm the older king now. <laughs> ah yes, dinner's full of invisible people. Oh. And suddenly, I was alone again. The Spooky. world had become cold and dark. I don't see any roasted goose here. I was falsely advertised. Also just gonna throw some paint all over the table. My own death rising up around me. Uh oh, you sure do, don't you? Swan animation. Swan rig. Huh? What's this? I'm not sure what it did that for. 
Do, do I just make a boat? This music reminds me a lot of a certain level in um, Hohokum, which I'll probably record pretty soon after this. Narrator Julie Pari. This game is a good example. Floated past chunks of the house I built, or started building, scarcely ten years later, and the whole thing was in ruins. My works were meant to last forever, but most of them will be gone before I am. This is why I really like uh, Sony Santa Monica's stuff. They publish up. Uh... I was at a funeral. Oops. My own, as it turned out. No one was there. Except you. Aww. Bloop. Hello, my own corpse. Oh, Mr. Goose! Oh, it's me! I'm, I'm me again. I'm on Monroe. <laughs> Minorly disrespectful. I'll wet my feet a bit here. I really like the mirrors. I saw my monument, my last hope of leaving something that would live on after me, and I began to walk towards it. And with each step I took, I got larger. I just kept growing and growing, like a teenager. <laughs> with a gentle Oops. Push, my monument crumbled and sank. Rip. I saw my life's work laid out in front of me. Soon it would crumble into dust or be painted over by someone who would come after me. The same way I painted over what was here before me. <laughs> There's that labyrinth. Who wants to rip out a pen and uh, solve it? Sun. Oh, and the sun. Ended. I knew that everything I'd made was over. And as I sat there, looking out into the darkness, I thought back on all the things I'd built and left unfinished. I realized something. I wasn't sad that it was all gone. I had fun making all that stuff. I would have done it anyway. And then somehow I knew that when I woke up, all my work really would be destroyed. And that's when you showed up. I don't know how you got here, but I'm glad to see you. I have something for you. This brush isn't mine anymore. My work is over. It belongs to you now. I hope it makes you happy and that someday they will say, he is a better man than his father. That door will take you anywhere you want to go, but leave quickly, child. None of this will last for long. Bye, Dad. And that night, even though he was very tired, Monroe did something that would have made his mother very happy. He, he finished the duck! Goose. Whatever. Aw, little babby gooses. I don't think gooselings actually look like that, though, but whatever. That was the unfinished swan. I guess I can look over the toys real quick. I, you saw most of them in game anyway, but um, it lets you uh, lets you get some toys. There's a balloon. Oh yeah, the balloon radar helps you find the balloons. I, I wish I could show you the balloons, but it, it wasn't really a big deal. But yeah, after you after you beat the game, you get the balloon radar and. Um, you can look through the chapters and find the balloons. I really like when games have a tracker like this. It makes things a lot less frustrating. It wasn't really the worst game to look for secrets in to begin with, but um, I guess we'd take a quick peek in the original prototype while I, while I gab about stuff. It gives you some concept art and stuff too. So this is the original prototype. It's a little bit similar to the first level, but it's a lot. Simpler, as you know, prototype. But uh, yeah, games 
supporting games like this is what I really like uh, Sony Santa Monica stuff in general. I um, usually end up buying most of the stuff they put out. Little bench there. And um, what was the game they're working on after this? Was it? Uh, I think. Uh, what remains of Edith Finch, I believe, is their work. Please wake up. I just had some standard. Well, I guess it is kind of related to the whole kingly bit. Oop! Oh. Broke little wall. It's not really a great deal. Oh, you can't even jump. It is just a prototype. It, uh, at the end, you just go on and you climb up into a star thing. It's... Pretty play. It, it shows the gameplay, and you know it, it does what a prototype does. It, it's cool they included it, but uh, not of huge import that we go through all of it here. But yeah, that was the unfinished swan. I really, really enjoyed that, and um, I uh, will be checking out some of the other um, Sunny Santa Monica and uh, other, you know, more published indie. Like, how do I want to say this? You know, the the bigger indies, I guess, like, you know. Um, did I do a flower video ever? I I guess I should get to that, too. You know, this is stuff, it's stuff that you probably have heard of, but it doesn't mean I didn't like it, and, uh, I don't know. I, I guess it's old enough that, um, maybe I will reach some new people that aren't, you know, didn't have the PlayStation when it came out, so they didn't know about it. Yeah, this is the unfinished one, and it's really neat.